When you open Project 2013 for the first time, this is what you see. It's a little different from the blank schedule you're used to when you open Project 2007. In Project 2013, you start by choosing what you want to do. You can choose a template and create a new project, or open an existing project here. Let's see what happens when we open a 2007 schedule in Project 2013. It looks about the same, and it works about the same too. All the basic tools and features you're used to are still here. You type and work with tasks in the same way. The commands are just organized differently. You used to select a menu item, then click a command. Now you select the tab on the ribbon and click a command. By default, the Task tab is selected when you first open Project. And if you want to get up to speed fast, this is where you'll find the most common commands for working with your tasks. For example, let's select this summary task and indent it. Let's select this task and split it. You might do this if you need to interrupt work on a task and resume it later. When it comes time to save your schedule, you can use the Save command up here, or you can use the familiar keyboard shortcut, Control-S. Hmm, what's that? The dialog is telling you that the schedule is a Project 2007 file, and it's asking you if you want to save it in the Project 2013 format. As you can see up here, you're running in compatibility mode because the schedule is in the 2007 format. You can click No, and the schedule will stay in the 2007 format. Project will essentially work the same as it always has, but you'll miss out on some of the new features of Project 2013, such as manually scheduled tasks. We'll go over them shortly. So if you or a colleague don't need to open the schedule with Project 2007, the best thing to do is click Yes and convert the schedule to the 2013 format. Notice how the compatibility mode beside the file name has gone away? Now we're going to talk about scheduling. There's a big change in Project 2013. It has two task modes for scheduling, auto-scheduled and manually scheduled. Auto-scheduled takes advantage of Project Scheduling Engine. It's the mode you're familiar with. Project 2007 only had this mode. With this mode, when you change the start or finish date of a task, link tasks automatically update. See what I mean? I can't change this task's dates without affecting the link tasks. Manually scheduled is new in Project 2013. When you change the start or finish date of a task, link tasks don't change. You can adjust the link tasks as appropriate, giving you greater control over your schedule. Manually scheduled is used by default when you create a schedule in Project 2013. You'll see the push pin icons on the left. But for projects you made in older versions of Project, auto scheduled mode remains. If you want to use auto scheduled task mode in a 2013 schedule, possibly because you're used to it, you can. When you create a 2013 schedule, click New Tasks down here and change the task mode to Auto Scheduled. For more information about auto and manually scheduled tasks, see the course summary at the end of the course. So you're well on your way to making the switch to Project 2013. Now stick around and we'll do more. In the next video, you'll see how things are organized in Project 2013.